Have you ever thought, man, wouldn't it be great to be a reniform nematode? Chances are probably not. But if you're like me, and you've spent a lot of time with these roundworms, the thought might have crossed your mind. See, these microscopic plant parasites, they travel through the soil, they find a host, they burrow into the root tissue of that host. And there, they convince all the cells around them to stop what they're doing, and instead devote all their time, energy, and even give up their structure to become an all-you-can-eat nematode feeding buffet. Pretty good deal if you're a nematode. But it's not good for the millions around the world that rely on these crop plants as their primary food or economic resource. And because this particular nematode can infect over 300 plant species worldwide, it's a big problem. So as a plant pathologist, I wanted to know how this could happen. How could perfectly healthy plant tissue be converted into a parasite's feeding ground? To discuss and go into this, I created a split root system in soybean, where half the root system was exposed to nematode infection and the other half remained uninfected. At different time points, these roots were harvested and the messenger RNA was extracted and sequenced. This gave us an idea of what gene expression looked like at that exact moment in the tissue of the infected and uninfected roots. Then comparing those two sets of genes, we found those differentially expressed and specific to the infection itself. And what we found there was interesting because there were several genes that encode proteins that act as transcription factors. Transcription factors are important because they're the master switches for DNA, capable of turning on or off large gene sets and allowing the nematode to gain a pretty wide range of control by manipulating a relatively small number of inputs. As we continue to understand more about the nature and interaction of these transcription factors, we'll be able to identify key parasitism genes that the nematode relies on. Breeders can then use this information to breed for new varieties that are protected from nematode infection. In this way, I believe my work is important because it directly addresses questions about global food security and prevents this nematode from having too easy of a time. Thank you.